Hello everyone and welcome to the official SWGT YouTube channel. My name is Sarusa. Today we're taking a look at SWGT update 5.13.0, which officially announces the basic account visualization now free for any SWGT account on the public site. There's a lot to talk about, and so let's dive in. And so your first question probably is, you know, what is SWGT and why does this update matter? So for the past four years, I've been running SWGT as a subscription-based model. Uh, there is a uh, public free component, uh, which is the main site for SWGT.io, as well as there is a guild subscription and a personal subscription. So on the on the guild side, if you're a guild leader and you want to have stats and analytics and tracking and, and player progression and you know charts and graphs and all sorts of wonderful different things, uh, there's a whole subscription model specifically just for that. And on the personal side, you know, if you're looking to compete with your friends or if you're looking to uh, progress your own account with your runes and artifacts and you know where can I best use my gems and where can I best use all, all of my grinds and you know are the runes that I have efficient and what are my builds like and you know can I share and archive uh, all, all of my different builds and are they speed tuned properly and so many different wonderful tools the personal side offers quite a lot over there and you can take your data wherever you are regardless of which guild that you're in and that leads us to today where I am announcing that the basic profile feature will now be available for all users on the public site and so what does that actually mean and why am I actually doing this is probably your next question. And so, uh, you know, over the past four years, I've made a lot of connections with uh, both, you know, Xandro as far as Swex and Swap goes. And on the Swear Farm side, you have Pork Smash and Quatso. But unfortunately, you know, Pork Smash and Quatso no longer play the game. And so they don't have the passion. And, you know, they have built a wonderful, amazing tool for APIs and, uh, you know, a basic profile view. Uh, but I did speak with them recently, and they're looking to scale back uh, Swore Farm to be just the bestiary and the APIs. And so I immediately thought to myself, you know, that's not going to be good for the Summer's War community and keeping it strong and keeping the game going. And so I thought to myself, you know, well, what can I do with SWGT, you know, based on the subscription models that I have and the cost structures, you know, you know, and the fact that SWGT is running essentially as a nonprofit, you know, can I can I still make it all work with having people have their basic profile still available, fulfilling the needs that Swore Farm is, is scaling back um, and providing more functionality so that way, so that way people can enjoy and continue to, to be competitive and enjoy the game. So let's take a look at the new features that are, are going to be available today for everybody and let me show you how to get it all set up. So from the SWGT homepage, you're going to want to click on the top menu and you're going to want to go to register. You're going to enter in a username and an email address and pick your time zone that you currently live in, which you can change all this stuff later, of course, and you're going to click on register. You're going to get an email that will, that will get sent to you. That's going to have a temporary password. You're going to come back here. You're going to log in. You're going to enter in that username and that password in the email. And then the first thing you're going to do is uh, log in. And then you're going to click, want to click on I agree to the user agreement. And then the next thing you're going to do is change your passwords. So you're going to enter the password again from the email. And then you're going to enter in your new password. And then you're going to be basically where we are today. And now that you're logged in and fully sitting on the homepage, you're going to want to go up to the hamburger menu and go to my profile. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to upload a JSON and you're probably asking, well, what's a JSON? And so I have a question mark icon here that walks through, you know, how do you get your character JSON from the game? There are some really nice guides here from Shizo and other players. Uh, but essentially, you know, honestly, the easiest way to do it is with the Steam client. Um, there's a really nice video. It walks you all through it. It's super easy. But once you have your JSON, you're going to press on upload. You'll go through and pick your file from your computer. And, and this player is not my player. It's actually somebody else's, but they, they gave me authorization to use it here in the video. But once you're happy with it, you're going to press on upload. And once it's been uploaded, you'll see that it has been saved successfully. And you'll see that the player is down here at the bottom. You'll see a date and timestamp of what date that that file actually came from, how many monsters there are, runes, artifacts, so on and so forth. If you ever want to update your JSON, there is a, a button here. Uh, there are some limitations with the with the basic version. Uh, I am limiting for now, just from a cost perspective, uh, to one player JSON upload per day. Uh, and that's per calendar day, not necessarily per 24 hours. So technically you could upload one tonight and upload one tomorrow. But I do have a whole bunch of logic in place to automatically check and, and detect abuse. So people that want to create other accounts, it's not going to matter. It's, it, it is still going to block you from uploading another another player JSON. So the limits right now are specifically one one player JSON per user account on the, on the public site, and you can upload once per day. Or if you have multiple player accounts that you want to track, you can have multiple user accounts, or you can subscribe to SPGT Personal. that has various different tiers that will enable you to track more than one player. And now that my player JSON is uploaded, you'll notice up on top that my top menu has changed. And so these menu options are now loaded up, and these are the ones that are readily available for, for public accounts for, for everybody to use. And so I can view all of my summoner skills, so all of your energy towers and your arena towers and your fire towers and your guild towers, so on and so forth. 
on the monster side. You can go through and visualize all the monsters in your account. So there are some limitations on which monsters get imported. Uh, you know, obviously it makes no sense to import every single monster in your account because there's, there's going to be lots of, of different monsters, lots of, of different levels. And so you really want to just focus on monsters that you're using, monsters that are evolved, monsters that are six stars, so on and so forth. And so SVGT is smart, the way that it processes all of its monsters in the system. If a monster has runes, it'll get imported, of course. If a monster is uh, a nat four or better, it will import as well. And then any monster that is evolved to a five star or better will also get imported. And so for this player, uh, you know, up on top, you can click on the drop down menu and this will show you all of, of, of your players. Uh, it'll also show you all of your friends, which, all, which I will highlight here in just, uh, in just a few minutes. But essentially you can go through and you can see all of the monsters that are here on the account. If I wanna click into one of the, of the monsters, I can see all of the different runes, all of the different artifacts. You'll notice that just the, the basics are showing for all of the runes. There are no real analytics or any sort of you know charts, graphs, or scales or, or anything else on these. And I will highlight those in in just in just a little bit, uh, so you can see you know the actual breakdown of all of all of the different stats, as well as all of the skills that are actually currently enabled on the monster. In the top right corner, there's also a compare button that I can also compare with some friends. Again, I, I will show that in just a, a little bit. The next section here is monster collection. So this is all the unique monsters that you have summoned on your account. So this player has never summoned a Varad, they've never they've never summoned a Molong, Amelia, so on and so forth. And so it's just a nice little way to see your as far as what you have summoned and, and not summoned. Speaking of summoning, there's also a monster summon log. You can see all the monsters that you have ever summoned in the date and time sequence that you, that you have all the way back to the, to, to the very first monster that you have summoned in the game. So kind of a neat feature there. The next menu option here is for rune details. I'm not going to go over this hugely and entirely, but essentially this is all the runes that are on the account, all of the different stats with sorting and sifting and column sorting. You can customize all, all of your different columns. You can customize all of your filters, but you'll notice that over here on the right-hand side, all of the, all of these functionalities are, are, are currently locked out because these are going to be analytics and, and statistics and gem options and so on and so forth. And those are, for, and those are based on subscription models only. Artifacts has a very similar feature. You can sort and sift and view all of your different artifacts onto your heart's content. Uh, you can go through and see the match of this artifact specifically on this monster and, and does it actually fit. You can see the actual monster itself if you if you clicked on this. So here is gonna be Chandra and all of the runes that are, are in artifacts are currently on Chandra. And then you can do a match to say, okay, for this artifact, what was the best fit match for this artifact? So SWGT is smart enough. It'll actually go through and scan all the skills and skills effects, and it'll take line by line and calculate out which are the best for this artifact. So really nice functionality there. But the real power of this really comes into the friends feature. So if we go back up to the hamburger menu and we go over to friends, you'll notice that I, I currently don't have any friends in the system today. So I'm, I'm gonna create an invite and I'm gonna leave all of the defaults turned on and I'm, I'm gonna generate an invite code. You'll take this invite code and you'll send it over to your friend. And through a little bit of movie magic on the background, if I refresh my page, you'll see that I have accepted the friend invite and I have, I have authorized a few of my players onto this player as well. And so you can click on the view button and see what that friendship actually looks like. And so for this friendship, which is, uh, which is being friends with Sarusa, uh, you can see that I have shared everything with, with my account and he has shared everything with me for his primary account. And one of his secondary accounts, he only gave me a select number of things. And so, that means that when I'm going through and using all these all these all these different menus, SWT will automatically walk out and or show or hide. Uh, there's also a tournament mode too uh, for SWT personal uh, subscribers to walk out all of their analytics if they so choose while they're in the middle of a tournament. So that so that functionality is there for them as well. And so now what does that all mean? You'll notice if I go up the hamburger menu, you'll notice that my menu has actually significantly changed and I actually have a bunch of extra menu items lit, uh, lit up. That's because I have friends that are that have SWTT personal accounts. And so that means that I can go in there and see the, the information for them. So if I go into, for instance, account summary, you'll notice that I can't do it for myself because that's not a functionality of the of the non-subscription version. But if I go into Sarusa's account, now I can see all of that wonderful detail. And there's all sorts of videos on, on the channel here about what all these different features and, and functionalities are. I definitely recommend that you guys spend some time and, and poke around. But really nice functionality there. Um, you know, you can go through and see, for instance, all the monsters for Sarusa. So for instance, here's my Nikki. And a really neat feature that I had mentioned before, if you run a compare, I can compare my Nikki versus his Nikki and all and all of the different stats and all of the different breakdowns, all, all the different rune sets and all of the different artifact lines, skills, so on and so forth. So really nice functionality there that you can compare and see other friends stuff too.
Another nice functionality is the team builder feature. So you can see all of the different teams that the people are, you know, are, uh, you know, running and all of the, all, all of, the, of the different speed tuning and all of the different runes that are on there, all the different skill ups, what is the turn order, so on and so forth. There's some nice functionality there that you can see for your friends. And so that's really where the actual difference lies, right? When you have a friend that has SFGT personal, because they have SFGT personal, you can see statistics and, and analytics for their accounts. So for instance, if we go over to monsters, and we go back over to Nikki. You'll notice that before, when I hovered over the rune, it didn't. It just showed the the basic rune. But because my friend has SFGT personal, the data is being aggregated, and there's lots of analytics as far as what this rune is, what is the efficiency, what is the efficiency if I had it set for a max hero versus a max legendary. You know. What are the actual gems and grinds that are currently on here? What is the current efficiencies? So on and so forth. Same thing for the artifacts too. So a really nice functionality there that you can use if you have a friend that has SFTT personal. So friends are just a really nice and wonderful way to share information back and forth outside of the game where you have control over what your, your friend sees specifically. So really great functionality there. The friends feature has no real limit on you know who can be friends. It's just a matter of sending out those invites, accepting them, and moving forward with sharing your information as friends. So friends are definitely one of the favorite, my most favorite features in SWGT. And I think it's also the, the most least underutilized. I've had so many people say, you know, Hey, can I see your XYZ build? And I'm like, yeah. And then, and then I always chuckle because I'm like, if, if only there were a feature in SWGT that where you could see your friends builds, right? And so that functionality is, is already there. It has actually been there for a long time. And so I, I encourage you all to get involved and start enjoying all these different new and exciting features. But it's just neat though, how, how you can go into, for instance, a rune detail and I'll go in there for myself, Sarusa. And because that player is a subscriber, you'll notice that I do have these, these actual, actual functionalities where I can click on the rune, see the detail, see the actual breakout. I can see various different gem options, whether I want to, you know, go through and gem something else as, you know, hero or actually on the actual legendary side. Um, you know, I can customize all my columns as does go through and, and remember all those various different columns. You can go through and see all of your, your current gem and grind inventory. And with one click, you can go through and use the actual gem optimizer. So you can find out where I can best use this gem. And same thing on the actual grind optimizer too, right? You can go into your, your grind inventory. I, I can pick on, you know, blade for instance, and let's go to HP percentage, right? And so you'll see that, you know, HP percentage is going to be a four to seven, right? And so here are a whole bunch of runes. It's going to automatically sort based on the highest efficiency. And so I, I have some here that I could very easily grind up to seven and squeeze in some extra efficiency here um, on my runes. So that is it today in a nutshell. You know, my goal really is to continue the amazing work that the Swarf Farm team has done over the, you know, over the past years. Um, you know, obviously Summoner's War is 10 years old, so they have they have obviously been around for a long time. But just because they're scaling back, it doesn't mean that SPGT can't offer the same functionality or better and allow all the players to continue to enjoy all those wonderful features and continue to grow and, and be competitive in the game. And that's it for today. I just wanted to say thank you to all the Patreon members who subscribe to SWGT and to all the people that constantly give feedback about the platform. Uh, you know, it, it's only through your support and efforts that SWGT is what it is today. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. We all make SWGT better together. And with that, don't forget to smash those like buttons and I'll see all of you on the battlefield.